The House is considering a bill called uh, Stop Online Piracy Act. Uh, it's uh, similar to what the Senate has already uh, passed out of committee. Uh, it's Protect IP Act. Now, these sound good, right? We're protecting intellectual property. We're stopping piracy. Who's in favor of pirates, right? Oh, thank God. And it's, of course, bipartisan. The Republicans and the Democrats have finally gotten together to make sure that uh, uh, rightful owners of copyrights are protected online. Now, is that what it's actually doing? Of course not. Look, I think that copyright owners should be protected. Honestly, there's way too much of pirated movies, songs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I know so some people giggle and go, ha, 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 I get to get it for free. No, I, I'm not in that camp at all. I think it's stealing, and you can call me Square, you can call me Grandpa Jay, you can call me anything you like. But it's not right. You should pay for that material, okay? Having said that, the bills that they have pr produced now <laughs> are so broad, they are so outrageous, let me tell you exactly what they do, okay? So first of all, uh, this new bill in the House will create new causes of action against a wide range of internet sites for facilitating copyright or trademark infringement. That's the stated purpose, fine. But then, look at what happens. A simple allegation submitted to financial and advertising networks would be sufficient to start the process. So all you need is someone saying, yeah, I, yeah I, that's my copyright. Uh, and I'm going to use it against Google and shut down maybe all of YouTube, maybe all of Google. I'm not kidding. Wait till you see the rest. Now, originally in the Senate version of the bill, it was only supp supposed to apply to websites that were internationally based, right? Because we already have a copyright protection law here in the United States for websites that are based in the U.S., right? Well, the House version also applies it to domestic companies. Why? Because they want to be able to control the whole internet. They don't really give a damn about copyright protection. That's not what this is about. So, uh, what could this do? Newer, or smaller online communication tools might be unable to bear the cost of doing application of this bill, and uh, they might never be able to get off the ground. Okay, so as the Daily Beast explains, among many other publications, uh, if you're a small company, and this bill is a, a now in effect and says, that it, and by on an allegation that if you have linked, not just if you have put pirated stuff, but if you have linked to another website that has pirated stuff, that it isn't even a link to the pirated stuff, but that it is somehow connected to it, you're a goner. Now, how is a small company on the internet going to survive if you, they get hit with all these legal bills, whether it's even justified or not? They're not going to survive. That's part of the whole point of this bill. The bill is supposed to crush the small competition so that the bigger guys can win. It's Washington 101. Second of all, communications that would qualify as fair use under copyright law and anything else with even a whiff of legal uncertainty would likely get booted from even mainstream sites. So even if it's on a big site and you're, for example, putting up a Fox News clip and saying, hey, isn't this what, uh, what Bill O'Reilly is doing is ridiculous? Even though that is perfectly legal, there's an allegation that it isn't legal, that's it. You wipe it from every internet site in the country and in the world if this bill goes into effect. This bill is outrageous. It gets worse and worse. Now that's the companies being able to uh, do all that. But you know what? They can also work with the Justice Department. The bill will allow the Justice Department to seek court orders on ISPs, search engines, financial networks, and ad networks, compelling them to cut off any website it deems rogue. So there's two implications of that. One, they go to the ISPs and the search engines, and they even go at, to the financial networks. So, and they can even go to your, the company that you uh, register your domain name with. So they can go to the people that are either providing the broadband, for, for example, Google, or, or Facebook, or Twitter, Netflix, any of these guys, right? Any company, your company. Uh, wh whether it's a, a conservative blog or a liberal blog, they can go to AT&T that's bringing the lines in and go, that's it, somebody put in an allegation, the Justice Department considers them rogue, shut them down, okay? And then second of all, or they can go to your bank and do that. I mean, it is so broad, uh, it's ridiculous. Second of all, look at that. The Justice Department has to consider you rogue. Okay, what is the absurd definition of rogue? The bill defines rogue so broad that include any site that allows users to participate by posting, commenting, or uploading material, including lawful social networking sites, cloud storage tools, and online communication tools. So, if a commenter comes on your site and puts a link to a website 
that has other pirated material in other parts of the site, your site is gone. It's done. So in the end, when you look at all this, what is this? This is a bill that can allows the government and any large company, sometimes even small companies, to come in and control the internet. If they don't like your website, they shut it down. Under the allegations that you are rogue and that you might be linking to someone that has copyrighted material. In fact, even if you're not doing it, a commenter is doing it, your website could be gone and Google could be gone for linking to your website. Okay, so you're thinking this bill is so nuts, it probably has no chance of passing. <laughs> Wrong again, Bob. It is got wide bipartisan support. Both Repu Republicans love it. Why? They're like, we're giving out monopolies to large companies? I jump in it. They love it. The Democrats? Well, as you're going to see from the list of people who are in favor of this bill, it reads like a Democrat's who's who of uh, Democratic uh, Party funders. So who's in favor of what they call SOPA? Hollywood Studios, because they say, hey, you know what? I'm the one with uh, the content, and I want to be able to charge a gazillion dollars for that content. And if I can not only shut down the pirated stuff, which is right and legal that they should do, but I can then control other sites with this threat, I can come and I go, well, I could shut down your site, right or wrong, or you could pay me a lot more money. Again, a monopoly that they want, right? Hollywood Studios are in favor of it. Trial lawyers. Every article I read said this would be an enormous boon to trial lawyers. Because they're like, we don't even care who wins. But Google's got a lawyer up. Uh, Warner Brothers has the lawyer up. It'll be nothing but wall-to-wall -wall lawsuits. And who are the two big funders of the Democratic Party? Hollywood. It's true. A lot of the studios give a ton of money. And the, so, uh, the movie association, now led by former Democratic Senator Chris Dodd, gives a ton of money to the Democrats. Trial lawyers, the biggest funders of the Democrats. So um, who's sponsoring this bill? Well, not only Lamar Smith, who's a deep conservative Republican, but John Kyers, who's supposed to be a big liberal uh, Democrat from Michigan. Okay, so they're both on board, and so are a great number of congressmen from both sides. Now, you're seeing on that list pharmaceutical companies, and so you're thinking, wait a minute, what the hell does that have to do with anything, right? Well, we're talking about online stuff. We're talking about copyrights. Why is pharmaceutical companies involved? Because they don't like it that some websites are selling things that they don't have a monopoly over. Because you know in the US, they bought our uh, politicians so they get a 12 year monopoly patent and then the government cannot negotiate prices and we cannot import drugs from outside the country. But some websites allow you to get drugs from other places. They're like, nope, gotta shut it down. If there's any competition, you don't compete, that's capitalism. No, what you do is you buy politicians to make sure that you shut down your competition. That's corporatism, and that's what we have in this country. So the pharmaceutical companies, which are among the top three donors in Washington, that give tremendous money to the Republicans and the Democrats are telling all their bought politicians, hey, you get on board and kill our competition again. You do as we say. That's what SOPA is about. And then finally, on the list you see, the Obama administration sent a great number of experts to the House hearings to say, what a lovely idea this bill is. <laughs> change. Change. How's that change working out for you? He's changing in that he is clamping down on the Internet even more than Bush had ever dared to do. And finally, who's in opposition of SOPA? Do we stand any chance? Well, Ron Wyden is uh, the guy leading the effort, and he's already done a great job of blocking it in the Senate. He put a hold on it, which any senator can do. Now, those senators can get beyond that hold, he's, so he started an online petition, and he's asking grassroots people to help. That's terrific. You should definitely do that, and you should, sh you should roar in anger. And that will help marginally. But if it was just us and a couple of progressive senators, we'd be in massive trouble. But luckily, there are other giant companies on our side for a change. So Google, Facebook, eBay, Twitter, you name it, those giant internet companies are saying, oh, hell no. You're going to give all the power to our competitors, whether it's the broadband uh, providers or whether it's the Hollywood studios, and you're going to rob the internet of its freedom, which then destroys the whole point of Google and destroys their business model. No, so they're, they're uh, waging a fight against it. By the way, also, not only are liberals against this bill, almost every major liberal group, but almost every major grassroots conservative group, including the Tea Parties, are also against it. Because they don't want their websites shut down either. But again, if it was just us liberals and conservatives, just us American people fighting, we'd be in a massive trouble. Because as Congress has shown over and over again, they don't give a damn about the American people. They care about who they truly represent, which is their donors. Luckily, there are some big corporations on our side 
And how this fight comes out is entirely unclear. Right now, uh, the people in favor of shutting down the internet basically through this bill have a huge lead. They have a lot of bipartisan support. We gotta join that fight and make sure this bill passes under no conditions.